kind of a cool thing to do and it's a cool thing to be able to take some data and do some predictions from it or categorizations from it and we see this in our everyday lives uh, so in this section we're going to be covering things like uh, machine learning I'll teach you that in five minutes or less uh, not all of it but uh, you'll get the idea uh, we'll talk about some of the machine learning capabilities we'll then learn about the algorithms that we have and then we'll talk about the Azure ML environment we're going to be doing all of this in the context of Azure ML at first then we'll take a very brief look at the R environment for doing that um, we're not going to spend a ton of time on that but I will show you a couple of uh, interesting examples and I'll give you lots of stuff in our study guides as always we've got our tests our forums all the things we need to do uh, to get started so uh, let's jump in well before we figure out where machine learning fits we probably need to figure out where we are in the process right so we've seen this before we'll bring it up a few more times uh, as we go this is super important uh, we did our planning our environment and we've ingested some data uh, you may want to look at this data in the next phase here where we're exploring and visualizing we talked a little bit about how you can do that inside Azure machine learning after this unit you'll know how to do that uh, in Azure machine learning the next phase as you recall was we needed to generate the features we're going to explore that more in just a moment and then of course we'll create our model and that's what this unit is talking about in specific next we'll evaluate our model and see how well it does and in fact maybe I'll have you do that I'll have you be a machine learning model and then we'll take a look at a test of that model that you are uh, let's try that out here in a minute uh, then we consume it and that's going to be in our next unit where we talk about power bi and cognitive programming and things like that and then we rinse lather repeat right we do it all over again Oh yeah, here we are. We're ready for our test, right? Do you remember this? All right, here we go. Microsoft Azure, host it. Data catalog, dock it. Data factory, move it, move it. Event hubs, bring it. Data lake, store it. Azure SQL DB, data warehouse and document DB, relate it. Azure machine learning, learn it and that's where we're at today Azure HD Insight scale it Azure Stream Analytics stream it and then of course Power BI see it and intelligent programming say it okay good job how did you do do you remember them all probably by now you've memorized it well and that will help you on your final exam when we get to that part all right let's jump into uh, Azure ML and machine learning um, let's talk about what machine learning is now I cannot teach you how to do machine learning in five minutes but I can teach you what it is in five minutes so let's take a look at a couple of different kinds of models and then we'll wander through the various things that you can do with it um, machine learning in five minutes here's the formal definition a computer program is said to learn from experience E with respect to some class of tasks T and performance measure P if its performance at task T as measured by P improves with experience E so leave it to uh, scientists to come up with a mathematical formula for something uh, I made something a little simpler um, basically we'll look at some data uh, we'll do something to it we'll see if it gets any better and gets the answer we want no we'll look at it again do something a little different if that's better then we do that and we don't do the thing that wasn't working um, we do this all day and and this is really how this works um, but let's take a look at one uh, in a practical way and I'll have you be the actual machine learning algorithm right here's the way it's gonna work I've got some data uh, so we've got a bunch of data and it has attributes it has sizes shapes colors weights uh, length all kinds of things use maybe a description in English uh, who knows all kinds of attributes those are features we're going to try to discover we're going to predict if I will like the object or not that's our ultimate goal that's what you as the machine learning algorithm is going to do so your algorithm I'm gonna use your eyes and your brain that's the algorithm I've picked and I've put that down I'm about to feed it some data 
And then in this data, I have not only attributes, you see some birds here. There are three of them, uh, a red and orange and looks like a blue and yellow one uh, birds that are there. They're of different sizes and so on. So you're going to look at that. You're going to recognize it. You're going to use your brain. You're going to get some features and I'm going to tell you whether I like it or not. I'm going to give you the label for this one and I'm going to say, I don't like that one. All right, so let's see another object or set of objects. Here's an object, looks like a unicycle uh, of some sort. Not a very good one, but there it is. Um, I kind of like it, but I don't think I like it. I don't think I like it very much. Okay, birds unicycle. Okay, hopefully your brain's trying to figure out where I'm going here. Um, next, we have uh, some wrenches here. Oh, I like those. I, I definitely like both of these. All right. Um, here's a screwdriver. It's a flathead screwdriver with a red handle and a gray thing. Um, I don't, I don't think I like this. I don't like it. I like this one though. I do like that one a lot. I don't like this one. I really don't. And I don't like that one either. All right, let's go to something else. These are three, looks like a mechanical pencil maybe, and a, a colored pencil and a regular number two pencil, we call them in the US, the bane of every schoolboy's existence. Um, I don't think I like any of those. I don't like those. Oh, I like that one though. Uh, I don't think I like that one at all. Okay, have you got it? Have you formed an opinion about what I'll like and what I don't like? I gave you the answers. I gave you both the features, you're looking at them, uh, and then I gave you the answer, the label. Do you think if I showed you another object, you could predict whether I'll like it or not? And we'll call this the holdout data. So I know whether I like it or not, but you don't. I'm making you guess. You are the, the algorithm. We're gonna run a test and I'll tell you if you got it right or not. Okay. Will I like that or won't I? Yes, I like it. All right, I think you figured it out at this point. Number one, it's green. Everything I liked was a green color. You probably got that. But notice that there was a green thing I didn't like very much, the unicycle. That's interesting. What's different about the unicycle than everything else I picked? I picked wrenches, a green screwdriver, and a green pencil. Interesting because those things that I picked that I do like, uh, there's only three of them there, they're all tools. Now you might not think of a pencil as a tool, but it is, it's used in a, a workshop. Uh, so all three of those are green tools. The unicycle I like a little, but it's green, so it might have given you a little bit of, uh, of a pause there. That's exactly how a machine learning algorithm works, except we would throw absolutely tons of data at it. There'd be a whole lot more objects. And by the way, um, visual recognition is in fact one of those objects. So we would, have, uh, we would have looked at that inside our data. And then we will hold out some data. I knew I would like the wrench, but I didn't tell you that, the wire cutters there. And then I asked you if you liked it. That's the scoring part. And I would have shown you thousands of those. Will I like it, won't I? Will I like it, won't I? You'll get some false positives. You'll say, yeah, I think you'll like it when I say no. You'll get some false negatives where I say, I won't like, you say, I won't like that. And I say, I will. You'll get some true positives. You'll say, yes, I think you'll like it. And I'll be like, yeah, you're right. And you'll get some true negatives where you say, I don't think you'll like that. And I'll say, you're right, I don't like it. So those false positives, false negatives, true positives and true negatives will form some create our model and that's what this unit is talking about in specific. Next, we'll evaluate our model and see how well it does. And in fact, maybe I'll have you do that. I'll have you be a machine learning model and then we'll take a look at a test of that model that you are. Uh, let's try that out here in a minute. Uh, then we consume it and that's gonna be in our next unit where we talk about Power BI and cognitive programming and things like that. And then we rinse, lather, repeat, right? We do it all over again. Oh yeah, here we are. We're ready for our test, right? Do you remember this? All right, here we go. Microsoft Azure, host it. Data catalog, dock it. Data factory, move it, move it. Event hubs, bring it. Data lake, store it. Azure SQL DB, data warehouse and document DB, relate it. Azure machine learning, learn it, and that's where we're at today. Azure HD Insight, scale it. Azure Stream Analytics, 
stream it. And then, of course, Power BI, see it, and Intelligent Programming, say it. Okay, good job. How did you do? Do you remember them all? Probably by now you've memorized it well, and that will help you on your final exam when we get to that part. All right, let's jump into uh, Azure ML and machine learning. Um, let's talk about what machine learning is. Now, I cannot teach you how to do machine learning in five minutes but I can teach you what it is. And for your algorithm, I'm going to use your eyes and your brain. That's the algorithm I've picked and I've put that down. I'm about to feed it some data. And then in this data, I have not only attributes, you see some birds here. There are three of them, uh, a red and orange and looks like a blue and yellow one uh, birds that are there. They're of different sizes and so on. So you're going to look at that. You're going to recognize it. You're going to use your brain. You're going to get some features and I'm going to tell you whether I like it or not. I'm going to give you the label for this one and I'm going to say, I don't like that one. All right, so let's see another object or set of objects. Here's an object, looks like a unicycle uh, of some sort. Not a very good one, but there it is. Um, I kind of like it, but I don't think I like it. I don't think I like it very much. Okay, birds unicycle. Okay, hopefully your brain's trying to figure out where I'm going here. Um, next, we have uh, some wrenches here. Oh, I like those. I, I definitely like both of these. All right, um, here's a screwdriver. It's a flathead screwdriver with a red handle and a gray thing. Um, I don't I don't think I like this. I don't like it. I like this one though. I do like that one a lot. I don't like this one. I really don't. And I don't like that one either. All right, let's go to something else. These are three, looks like a mechanical pencil maybe and a, a colored pencil and a regular number two pencil we call them in the US the bane of every schoolboy's existence. Um, I don't think I like any of those. I don't like those. Oh, I like that one though. Uh, I don't think I like that one at all. Okay, have you got it? Have you formed an opinion about what I'll like and what I don't like? I gave you the answers. I gave you both the features, you're looking at them, uh, and then I gave you the answer, the label. Do you think if I showed you another object, you could predict whether I'll like it or not? And we'll call this the holdout data. So I know whether I like it or not, but you don't. I'm making you guess. You are the, the algorithm. We're going to run a test and I'll tell you if you got it right or not. Okay. Will I like that or won't I? Yes, I like it. All right, I think you figured it out at this point. Number one, it's green. Everything I liked was a green color. You probably got that. But notice that there was a green thing I didn't like very much, the unicycle. That's interesting. What's different about the unicycle than everything else I picked? I picked wrenches, a green screwdriver, and a green pencil. Interesting, because those things that I picked that I do like, uh, there's only three of them there, they're all tools. Now, you might not think of a pencil as a tool, but it is. It's used in a, a workshop. Uh, so all three of those are green tools. The unicycle I like a little, but it's green, so it might have given you a little five minutes. So let's take a look at a couple of different kinds of models, and then we'll wander through the various things that you can do with it. Um, machine learning in five minutes. Here's the formal definition. A computer program is said to learn from experience E with respect to some class of tasks T and performance measure P, if its performance at task T as measured by P improves with experience E. So leave it to uh, scientists to come up with a mathematical formula for something. Uh, I made something a little simpler. Um, basically, we'll look at some data. Uh, we'll do something to it. We'll see if it gets any better and gets the answer we want. No, we'll look at it again do something a little different. If that's better, then we do that and we don't do the thing that wasn't working. Um, we do this all day and, and this is really how this works. Um, but let's take a look at one uh, in a practical way and I'll have you be the actual machine learning algorithm. Right, here's the way this is going to work. I've got some data. Uh, so we've got a bunch of data and it has attributes. It has sizes, shapes, colors, weights, uh, length, all kinds of things. Use maybe, a description in English, uh, who knows? All kinds of attributes. Those are features. We're going to try to discover, we're going to predict if I will like the object or not. That's our ultimate goal. That's what you as the machine learning algorithm is going to do. So it's 
kind of a cool thing to do. And it's a cool thing to be able to take some data and do some predictions from it or categorizations from it. And we see this in our everyday lives. Uh, so in this section, we're going to be covering things like uh, machine learning. I'll teach you that in five minutes or less. Uh, not all of it, but uh, you'll get the idea. Uh, we'll talk about some of the machine learning capabilities. We'll then learn about the algorithms that we have, and then we'll talk about the Azure ML environment. We're going to be doing all of this in the context of Azure ML at first. Then we'll take a very brief look at the R environment for doing that. Um, we're not going to spend a ton of time on that, but I will show you a couple of uh, interesting examples and I'll give you lots of stuff in our study guides as always. We've got our tests, our forums, all the things we need to do uh, to get started. So uh, let's jump in. Well, before we figure out where machine learning fits, we probably need to figure out where we are in the process, right? So we've seen this before. We'll bring it up a few more times uh, as we go. This is super important. Uh, we did our planning, our environment, and we've ingested some data. Uh, you may want to look at this data in the next phase here where we're exploring and visualizing. We talked a little bit about how you can do that inside Azure Machine Learning. After this unit, you'll know how to do that uh, in Azure Machine Learning. The next phase, as you recall, was we needed to generate the features. We're going to explore that more in just a moment. And then, of course, we'll create